All right, tonight, thank you. It doesn't feel like opening day. No, or, we were talking about that the Orioles are playing today. Yeah. And I, it's going to be a little bit of a damp day, I think, up that way. So it's going to be a little interesting. Still got to play ball. That's right. That's right. And, of course, I'm repping my uh, home team over here. But that would be the? <laughs> the Pittsburgh Pirates, Okay, of course. just want to make sure it's on the record. Hey, it is. It is. They're not that great this year. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, not quite opening day weather, I'd say, folks. But we are seeing some improvement. Let's check it out. We do have those cloudy skies over the district district right now as most of the rain has exited early this morning. It was still raining along and east of I-95, but thankfully that soggier weather has moved to the east and we're just left with that overcast look to the sky. And there we have it again. All of that rain you see on the map stretching from New York City right down the coastline into the Carolinas. That is right along a frontal boundary that just will not budge. And that's why we're continuing to see those soggy conditions just off to our east it's still raining in Ocean City as a matter of fact but thankfully again that front has already moved far enough to the east that we are not dealing with any wet weather here in the district it's just extremely cloudy if anything we'll see some showers down toward Calvert St. Mary's counties while the rest of us dry out and actually it's been dry enough that it's starting to clear out west of I-81 places like Cumberland and Kaiser already catching some sunshine which eventually the rest of us will get to but it is going to be a slow go of it here clearing out all of this cloud cover and that being the case with the overcast sky we have temperatures are going to remain on the cool side of things right now we have upper 40s to the west and just barely above 50 degrees to the east including 52 in the district at this hour. So here's a look going toward the middle of the afternoon. If anything, that rain again stays out toward the eastern shore. There may be a few isolated showers, some light drizzle that could work its way back far enough west toward the I-95 corridor and the DC Metro that we do see a little bit of soggy weather before the day is done. But recent trends have been leaning toward a dry rest of the afternoon closer to the metro areas. Now, either way, by 6 p.m. PM, that rainfall really starts to pull away even past the eastern shore and there we have it. We are going to see things clear out very quickly as we head into the night tonight and go into the day tomorrow. Now this fast clearing is taking place because we are going to notice a surge of much drier air rolling its way in tonight going into Friday and the only way that's able to arrive so quickly is because we're going to kick up the winds once again folks. Yes, we have not had to deal with blustery winds for at least the last few days during all of this wet weather, but unfortunately they're back as we go through the night tonight. Those wind speeds will begin to pick up around 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then as we get into the day tomorrow, we're going to notice stronger wind speeds 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially tomorrow afternoon going into the evening. We'll have some occasional gusts reaching even higher than that 40 to 45 miles per hour out to the west of I 81 there on occasion. It's not the strongest winds we've had in the last several days, but nonetheless, we'll have to deal with this blustery wind can those blustery wind conditions out there and for locations out to the west where we had those wildfires just several days back. Well, there wasn't a lot of rain with this last storm system, and on top of that, conditions will be drying out quickly enough that we'll have to watch for just that potential of elevated fire risk out to the west for just a brief bit of time. So that's the way things are trending here, folks. Clearing out, but blustery for your Friday. And despite the wind, temperatures will actually be warming up. We'll hit the low 60s Friday and stay in the 60s as we go through the Easter weekend. It's coming up after the break, we'll have more news and weather, so be sure to stay tuned.